right? What matters the most when it comes to women's booties, right? Listen up. You guys got to listen up. Is the butt the thigh connection, right? When that butt and the thigh hits and you see that perfect cuff, that cuff, hmm. And blessings, you ugly mofos. Welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. This is your first time on He Rants. I want to let you know, I'm just a random guy. Let's talk about random stuff that interests me. And I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. And if that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way, you'll be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure. And those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms. Like I said before, some delays has been going. I don't know the holidays. I don't know what's going on with my supplier. With, with these clothes man but they're, they're definitely gonna come out to you guys trust me i'm not i'm not scamming out here bro i ain't scamming i know i'm nigerian but i ain't scamming all right but let's not waste no more time man let's get into the first story man i've been gone for so damn long man work busy busy work man i've been busy doing a whole lot of stuff man but we got to talk about this guy drake bell Drake Bell. I know you guys saw the joint, and I was probably like, "Oh, oh, you know Drake and his girlfriend and stuff." Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna get to that Drake, right? We 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 talking about this Drake, all right? Yeah. Apparently, this Drake Drake's not even his first name. Apparently, this guy's middle name is also Drake. I forgot what his first name is. What the hell is, what the hell is Drake's first name? His name is Jared. Jared Drake Bell. You know Drake from. Drake and Josh and everything, right? It's crazy when you think about his name being Jared. There's off the strength of you guys know the whole situation that happened with the subway guy Jared. Was it Jared? Or was it Jerry? Is it Jerry? No, I'm thinking about Jerry Subs. I'm thinking about Jerry Subs. That's what it is. But Jerry, I'm pretty sure the subway guy is Jared. You know the fat, the, the fat dude that lost weight, but he still looked kind of like. It's like he lost weight, but he's still not like slim for real. Like I still see him as like you lose a little bit more weight, son, right? But you know the whole story with him and everything, right? He was out there uh, with the child adult films, right? Even though that sounds like a oxymoron, but you know what I mean when I say the children film. He had a whole stash for him. At least I think that's what the story goes, right? So you know, Jared, he's 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 just a wild guy, man. He got he just got lost the weight and did not know how to act, son. Watch out. That's why it makes me wonder right now, should we watch out for guys who are fat who then transform into losing weight at that point, right? Because it seems like when guys are fat and they try to lose weight, they then end up being somewhat of pedophiles, right? What's the other dude? EDP, blase blase. Ain't he trying to lose weight and stuff? Mm, and then all of a sudden now it came out that he was out here messaging little girls. Coincidence? I think not. I think not. Oh, I'm jumping the gun, right? If you can't tell by me bringing up the whole situation with Jared and EDP or whatever that dude's name is, EDP four four five, whatever his name is, fat tub of lard guy. Um, there's all these things have something in common: children, sexually doing stuff with children, right? So Jared, Drake Bell has been added to that mix of guys that we like to call the pedo group. This is old news by now, but like I said before, I've been out of the mix for quite some time, so I'm reporting on it because I still feel like it is juicy. This guy, Jared, right? This guy, Jared Drake Bell, uh, was pretty much out here messing with an underage girl. Yes, you heard it right. And he pled guilty. He did not try to waste his time and try to get a good old lawyer and be like, well, maybe he did get a lawyer. And the lawyer was probably like, hey, look, girl, it's not looking good for you, bro. Because, you know, lawyers don't like losing, right? They feel like they're going to lose the case. They're going to tell you, like, listen, just go out there, settle, or I'm not going to even be with you i'm gonna drop you son you know what i'm saying drop you just like how i be dropping hoes once they start catching feelings right because when these hoes start catching feelings then they start becoming snitches i've already told you guys many times before women are natural born snitches right so now you have your hoes and stuff you guys are having a good old time you're doing girlfriend stuff with her kind of right you know taking out for ice cream nothing too exclusive you're not taking out to texas roadhouse and stuff right and then all of a sudden now she feels like she really is your girlfriend and starts telling you to break up with your girl and stuff and start a whole new life with her. How dare she come with that garbage, man? I'm not here for that. You are here strictly for sex. And I'm also here to mess with your head to make you think that you're my girl, but you're not my girl because you gave me the cheeks without making me have to commit or break up with my girl. So I'm going to keep cheating on my girl with you as long as you keep your mouth shut. But if you refuse to keep your mouth shut, then I'm going to have you. What was that? Have you? I'm, I will, I'll bid you adieu. But this guy Drake Bell, right, pretty much 
um so what happened he's been messing with an underage girl right she is 19 at this point right but how old was she when he started like talking to her right <laughs> 12 years old yes you heard me right 12 years old this guy drake bell had his 12 year old fan out here fawning over him right and of course there's a whole lot of little girls out here fawning over drake bell uh, apparently i don't know drake and josh hasn't been on for quite some time in fact now i'm thinking about 12 years old I... well actually well wait no that doesn't she's 19 now though so i'm like why was she watching drake and josh was she like five i don't know was that I, I i don't know right because i mean drake drake bell hasn't been relevant for quite some time now because i'm trying to say how that how that worked but he was pretty much messing with her while she was 12 years old pretty much molding her to be his ideal woman right disgusting disgusting right something about these child stars man something about them they just like it's almost like maybe it's because they haven't really fully grown up and they weren't really able to have a full-blown childhood right so now they're going back and messing with underage people to have that i don't know that's that's still a stupid excuse because when you were young it's not like you couldn't go out here and start messing with other other people right even even if you didn't really have a childhood you could still been out here slinging pipe to the other teenagers while you were a teenager yourself right at least i think i mean i, I mean that's what i would do i wish my agent would tell me some stuff like oh oh felix you're getting out of hand you're slinging too much pipe how do I'm sorry, I almost got mad. I almost felt like I was really in that situation. My agent really did tell me I'm slinging too much pipe. How dare you come to me and tell me as a man that I am slinging too much pipe. I am slinging as much pipe as physically possible, right? As long as my penis is able to withstand all the pipe that I'm giving, I will continue to distribute pipe. I am a pipe distributor. Go look me up. They call me Felix the Pipe Supplier, son. It's me with a freaking hard hat and stuff, right? And I'm and I'm and I'm dressed up like a plumber, cause I'm delivering pipe, endless pipe. Stop playing with me, son. So yeah, so now he is facing, well, he's not facing. He pled guilty and everything, right? So he, this guy Drake, is getting two months. Uh, is it two months? I think it's two months or two years of probation, right? And he has to pay a fine and he has to do, I think, 200 hours of community service. A lot of twos, if I'm not mistaken. I might have got a mistake. I'm, I'm mixing some some of the times up somewhere in there. I know I'm miss, mixing some of the time up somewhere, but either way, he got caught, right? And then he owned up to it. He was like, listen, man, I wasn't, I didn't want to give, you know, create any harm, right? Um, of course, you probably didn't, right? You probably just wanted to have pleasure for yourself and I, I, I don't know what type of sick stuff maybe you want a pleasure for her or something like that yeah. he wanted to mold her he's not the first and he's definitely not going to be the last you guys know elvis presley was out here molding his own girl and stuff right who's that other guy the other the other rock star guy that made dream on dream on you know one of the hosts on the freaking um what's that joint called american idol and stuff one of the one of the judges i forgot his name stephen tyler or something like that he was out here molding a joint too these guys is out here being pedos man watch out what hide your kids hide your what we gotta talk about this girl maria taylor you guys know maria taylor or maybe you don't because i did not know who the hell maria taylor was right because maria taylor is apparently a satellite reporter slash journalist i think i think she's a journalist i'm not sure but she was apparently um you know uh, one, of, one of the people out there on espn right i think she's been with espn for about two years now a young black lady so i think how old is she she's uh, she's a little bit older than me she's like i think she's like 34 years old 33 34 35 between between that age bracket and everything right so she if you guys don't know she was out here being a sideline reporter uh during the nba finals last year and everything right and if you guys have been living under a rock, you guys know the whole story. Ignore my dog if you can hear my dog barking. I'm just trying to ignore him as much as possible. He thinks he's he runs his house. He doesn't run this house. I run this house, man. I'm the big old here, right? But I'm gonna continue on. So Maria Taylor, right? Um, so she was the one, you know, the sideline reporter and everything, right? Maybe that's why the reason you probably didn't you know pay attention. And at the same time, the NBA finals last year, in fact, the NBA playoffs last year had one of the lowest viewership so maybe that's another reason why you might not know her either way i was gonna know her right why you ask i might not know her it's because i'm misogynistic and i don't see women as human beings so when i when i when a woman pops up it, it, i i don't see it's almost like a mic just floating by itself i don't i'm like why is there showing a mic floating that's why i don't watch the wnba because all i see is a basketball um you know like it looks it looks like a magical basketball that's bouncing up and down and missing layups and stuff that's what it looks like when uh when i watch the wnba and stuff right for those of you guys who got triggered for, by that um i want to let you know uh there's more sexist misogynistic jokes to come oh i'm telling you there's more 
So Maria Taylor, man, let me let me say this first off. She's a beautiful lady, man. Beautiful brown chocolate lady, son. I would definitely mess with her, man. She's very she's beautiful. I, I have to give her that. You know what I'm saying? I can make misogynistic jokes. She's very she's very pretty. She's very pretty, man. I would definitely nice to like to walk with that. But at the same time, she has very bad wigs, right? Because the wigs. They don't fool me. I know it's not her real hair, right? Most likely she probably has cornrows under there with a skull cap. Keep her, you know, hair down and everything. And then she puts the, the wig. The wig don't look good. I, I like wigs that fool me. Like Nicki Minaj. A lot of her wigs fool me. It makes me believe that's her real hair, right? Even though I know it's not, it still looks like her real hair. Sierra also also has very good wigs, right? But not Maria Taylor, right? And it's crazy because Maria Taylor, um, you guys know the whole story, right? At this point, right? The, the, the situation that happened with, uh, I was about to say Doris Burke, right? I'm getting the woman mixed up those are the only women i know on 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 tv doris burke and she only i only know about doris burke because of uh, uh 2k doris burke and who's the rachel nichols that's the one right so you guys know about the whole audio that came out right everybody's going at rachel nichols because she said the whole situation that maria taylor only got that position right as a sideline reporter for the nba finals because she's black and the whole black lives matter situation that happened before right and you know everybody's saying she's racist for that i don't see how she's racist for that what she said uh was also that she her herself rachel knuckles was the person who had the contract for the finals right last minute they switched her out and put maria taylor and you know i don't if what she's saying is true then damn sure right that is exactly why they put her there son they put her there because she was white everybody's getting upset that's the truth son if it's because the black you know the nba was super woke with the black lives matter situation right everything was oh you know say their name and everything right so obviously they wanted to put the black woman there are you guys getting mad for Rachel Nichols saying the truth? It's the truth. I don't have to bite my tongue. And this is not even something I'm saying just so I can get myself canceled. Because you guys know I've been trying to get canceled for quite some time now. It's, let's be real, son. Like, let's be real. That's the reason why she was there. She's, you know, put the black face there, right? And um, so here's the thing, though. That audio came out last year, right? As you guys know by now, because this is an old story, right? So in 2020 last year and everything, right? I believe that this woman maria taylor was the one who brought it out why do you ask the maria Badwig taylor brought it out right on old rachel nichols looks like i don't know she looks like one of those witches from um hocus pocus you know that remember that movie hocus pocus she looked like she looked like the redhead one you know what i'm saying like i feel like rachel nichols if she gains about 30 40 more pounds she would look she'd be able to if they make a remastered hocus pocus oh yeah i can see her i can see her in that definitely see her in that she can definitely do that she can definitely do that but yeah back, back to maria tell you why do you actually brings it out oh obvious man obvious she wants a contract extension right but she wants a big bus right now she's making about a million dollars a million dollars to a woman right a woman man that's crazy man a woman making that much money what is it can you imagine the hair products mm. now i'm thinking about it man Oof. With that money she can't get good wigs that's sad and she's still pretty though but yeah so so she um so she had a million dollars you know i had a contract with a million dollars a year right and then she wants to have stephen a smith money you guys don't know stephen a smith is making between eight to twelve million dollars a year right so yeah maria tell can suck a dick um because i say this because this guy stephen a has been there for god knows how long right so once again maria taylor can suck a dick i have to say that again just in case you didn't hear me the first time right i gotta emphasize that she needs to suck a dick because she's tripping she's definitely tripping i think the wig might be too tight and it's sucking the circulation out of her head or something like that to make her believe that she deserves stephen a smith money no no especially because you've only been there for god knows how long this guy stephen a been there for like two decades two three decades he is espn he's the face of espn come on oh, everything that he says goes viral how dare you how dare you right and this is not even trying to be no no yeah man well, massage, yeah also a woman she's a woman right and it's, by the way espn is losing so much money so many people are leaving why would they pay maria to most people don't even know who Maria Taylor is. Can we can we keep it a stack right now? Can we can we can we can we keep it a stack right now? No one know who Maria Taylor is. So come on, son. So yeah, so last year they tried to give her five million dollars, right? She declined it. She said she wants Stephen A. Smith money, right? Five million dollars. She declined it, right? Oh my god. She needs to suck a dick. She needs to suck a dick, right, man. She needs to suck scrotums. She needs to suck the she needs to lick Gooches. The Gooch, you know, the part between the balls and the anus. She needs to lick that. Cause she's wild. She's wild. She's tripping. And then um well what do you call it so then this year they gave her another offer three million right and i guess she didn't like the offer and that's when the tape got released right the audio and everything right obviously she released it or somebody in her camp released it obviously i'm gonna say allegedly but let's say obviously come on that's obvious why would it be released at a time like this because she's trying to get money she's not gonna get the money espn don't give a damn about that that's why they still offered her three million in fact i would be like nah you getting two million that's a hundred percent raise if you get two million dollars 
You want you want Stephen A. Smith money? People are not tuning in for Maria Taylor. You're a woman. Yes, I said it. You're a woman. If this was a cooking channel or something like that, or Rachel Ray, definitely you might have some viewership right there. But other than that, no. All right, I told you, misogynistic jokes aren't joking. I aren't stopping, man. You, I've been trying my hardest to get canceled. You guys have been slacking on me so hard. Man. It's like I'm getting followers on Instagram and stuff like that. I'm supposed to be getting canceled. People supposed, I'm supposed to be losing followers. I don't know what's going on here, man. We got to talk about the other Drake. Aubrey Graham. Aubrey Drake Graham or something like that. Whatever his name is, right? The, the Drake that you guys really came to hear about, right? I know you guys like, why did you make it go so long and stuff? I'm going back to the to the old format. I'm saying multiple stories in my videos, son. I'm just going to do it like that, man. That's that's what helped me. I'm going to go back to it, all right? I'm sticking to it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with it. So this guy, Drake Bell, right? Apparently, he's going out with this girl named Johanny. Jo Johan? Johanny? I can't say. I can't. I, I can't. Johanna Aliyah or something like that? Johan Jan Janalia? Whatever whatever her name is, man. She got a fat ass. That's what matters, right? That's what we're here for. We're here for the fat ass. Her ass fat as hell, man. That joint is robust. Huge even, right? Gargantuan, right? But here's the problem though. Our joints definitely looks uh enhanced, if you know what I'm saying, right? And listen, man, like I said before, as long as it looks and feels real, I'm really ready and willing to hit, son. I'm ready and willing to hit, right? The only problem is when the thigh to butt ratio is not good, it's never, it's never a go, right? People, this is what people have to understand, right? Asses is, is a work of art, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of mixtures of way ass, man. You, you got the drumstick legs, right? You guys know the drumstick legs. When it's mainly just a drumstick, like it's just the thigh, and the butt are one, right? So it looks like a drumstick and it gets skinny as it goes down, right? And you got the heart shaped one, or you got the, the dent, the box ass, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? It goes, and it's like a crease in the butt cheek, and then it goes down again. It's cool, it looks boxy. You still hit those, cause some of those still have the butt that come out, right? Then you also got, you got the nice little bubble, right? And those are my favorites, right? The bubbles. Uh, of course, you got the flat ass and all the other ones. You got the wide ones with the flat butt. You got the wide ones with the semi protruding butt. You got the Cherokee the asses, right? But my favorite one is that nice perfect bubble, right? You don't need too much hips, but what matters the most, right? What matters the most when it comes to women's booties, right? Listen up, you guys gotta listen up. Is the butt the thigh connection right when that butt and the thigh hits and you see that perfect cuff that cuff hmm hey that cuff that makes everything right it don't matter how big or small the booty is when that cuff is there it speaks volume it gives the booty credibility right it's, it's booties like that people write love songs about. It's booties like that that got you going in front of a person's house that don't want to talk to you no more. You're just holding that big speaker, you know, boombox playing love songs for everybody to hear, right? Embarrassing your damn self while she's telling you to leave that, leave her the hell alone because she got another dude and he's giving her back shots, right? Man, memories. But this guy Drake, man, people have just been clowning his girl, right? First of all, let's say, this, I gotta say this. People have been noticing that this guy Drake has been going to a whole lot of Bronny James uh, games, right? And you guys know Bronny James, the son of LeBron James, right? Apparently, Johanna Ali, uh, whatever that woman's damn name is with the fat butt. Uh, apparently, um, you know, the... <laughs> The, uh, she has a son that's around the same age as Bronny, I think, or a little bit older. I'm not, maybe a little bit older. And uh, they go to the same school, play basketball. So, in fact, I think his, uh, I think her son is actually one of the higher uh, recruits and stuff. I forgot his name exactly, right? So, it's crazy. You know how, how funny that is, right? He probably met her at the game, son. He probably met her at the game. This guy, Drake, is on a prowl. The thing is, dude, this guy, Drake, continuously goes after the same looking type of females, right? In fact, that's what a lot of people on Twitter has been saying. You keep going after the girls with the enhanced booties, man. It's, this is giving out a false reality to a lot of flame females, right? A lot of women are thinking now that, hmm, if I get the fake assets, I can get a guy like Drake. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't always work like that, especially for the women who do it outlandish, right? Remember when I said that butt the thigh connection, right? Some of these women are getting the booty enhanced too much to the point that the butt to thigh ratio is not matching. It looks like there's sticks and somebody just cut an orange in half and threw it 
behind of a stick. That's how it looks. And this girl, Jahala Nanali, is no exception, right? People have just been roasting the hell out of her. So saying that she looks like an ear pod. You guys know how the ear pod looks. Just a stick with a joint coming at the end. And she does. And she does. The thing about her booty that I dislike. It's because I saw one of the pictures that looked like her booty had some sort of ripples, dimples even, right? Nothing is wrong with booty dimples, but when it looks like this, it looks very, almost to me, I'm over-exaggerating awful, uh, honestly, but it somewhat reminds me of crumpled up paper. Crumpled up paper. It's like somebody took crumpled up paper and shoved it into skin and then put it in her butt cheeks. At least to me. Or at least I feel like that's what it will look like if you pull the pants off, right? But Drake is hitting it. Who knows? He's probably drink, uh, hitting other joints. Keep in mind, though, Drake might be hitting other joints that are, like, not as attractive. Why Why do you why, 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 why did you bring that up, Felix? What, what, what difference does it make? Because I'm trying to say that he probably smashed anything, right? Even though the booty is looking the way it does, um, he's definitely going to hit. And then he's going to go and hit a, hit a, a obese chubby joint. Who knows, right? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Drake does, right? Drake, like I told you guys before, he's probably the type of guy that that wipes up strippers. I think he does wipe up strippers. I mean, he had he had a baby with a soft core porn girl, right? Or a naked nude model, or only fans model, or whatever she is, right? That's what she, he had a he had a baby with her, right? This guy's a notorious dick slinger. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. I might want to make a partnership with that guy. Yeah, Drake, yeah. Me and Drake might need to make a partnership, but why you ask? Because remember, in, earlier on in this video, I said I want to start a uh, a pipe distribution company, right? Where we just slinging out pipes, right? It's going to be me. I might get Wesley Pipes to work with me, right? You know, I respect Wesley Pipes. Maybe Brian Pumper. Uh, you know, I don't know, who knows? Who knows? Uh, Alexis and Steel. And then we get Drake in there. Drake in the mix. And we just out here just slinging pipe. Left and right. Slinging pipe. My girl probably won't like that, but hey. She's not gonna slap, stop the, the pipe from being slung. It's gonna be slinging, slinging. Every girl, uh, hey Felix, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I got some pipe for you. I got some pipe, some good pipe. No, it's not that good. It, it, it's, it's average pipe. It's average pipe, but it'll get the job done. The thing that's crazy, man. You know how awkward it must be for the freaking son that's a basketball player and everything, right? Knowing that your mom is getting thrashed by Drake and knowing that it's not going to last. Drake is just having his fun with her before time goes on. Oh, but you don't know. She might have a good personality. I don't give a... You... Son, you... Th <sighs> you think she... No. No. She's a single mother. She does not have a good personality. And then a lot of people will say, oh, that's misogynistic. I told you. It doesn't stop. The misogynistic stuff is going to keep going. These aren't even jokes anymore. This is my truth. This is my truth. All right? She's a single mother. There's no way she has a personality. If she had a personality, the, the, the first guy would have stayed. He definitely would have stayed, but he didn't stay. He didn't. And then she had to enhance her body. That tells you something. She had to attract people by enhancing her body. Meaning what? She's a loser. She's a loser. Not necessarily she's a loser. I mean, maybe her ass was just crazy flat. Maybe it was. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I'd hit. All right? Let me not do that. I would hit. What? What I keep... I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever said that you would hit somebody and then and then when you see them and you just like like if she really gave you the opportunity you start being like I really don't want to hit this joint. I said I would hit, but I, I don't really I really wouldn't hit. Like maybe maybe it's one of those things. Like maybe I'll be like, alright, I'm gonna hit just cause and then she pulled on the pants and that don't look like crumpled paper and skin. Then I might be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll get the head and she'll feel offended like oh what you think I'm just gonna suck your dick and bless it bless it and then I'll probably be like you know because at that point I already don't care anymore because I'm like bro I'm not I'm not hitting so I mean I get yeah, that's what I expected and if she gives me head then I'll be like man I'm the man I can't believe I got away with that and if she doesn't I'm like okay well I didn't, didn't want to hit anymore so you know yeah but that's all I gotta talk about man if you stayed this long man, I appreciate you I love you man make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications that way those be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like. I'm so damn insecure in those likes that you let me know I'm doing a stand up job. Same time, gotta buy the merch. Mofo, been offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Email me, description box below. That's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out. <laughs>